We're still getting ready for the holidays with creative drawings and we're getting toward the end. We're ready to start with part three where we're going to add a phrase to our little snowman. Let's go ahead and zoom out just a little bit to see how our snowman fits in the hoop. My snowman's a little bit large because I'm going to put lettering right up at the top. So it's real easy to select everything that's on the screen by holding down the control key on your keyboard and pressing the letter A. Once you have that selected, you can use one of the bounding corners and just click and drag and make your snowman either larger or smaller and move him toward the center bottom part of your hoop. So it depends on your hoop size. Go ahead and change the size of the snowman for your hoop. Once we have that the snowman the proper size we're going to go to the left side of our um, work area and the left menu bar. We're going to choose the Create Shape tool and you'll notice I already have an ellipse chosen but you might have a square or something else chosen. To make sure you get the ellipse go ahead and left click and hold and you'll notice you have your selection of different shapes to choose from. Just find that ellipse and then let go and it will come back over here. Anytime you see a little arrow on the bottom right of a tool, that means you have more options. So you can left click and hold down and you're going to see all of those options of that tool. Bring your mouse over into the work area and left click and drag an ellipse. And I'm going to make my ellipse about a little bit wider than it is tall. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. It can be a couple different sizes. Um, just about that size because this is going to be the arc of what our letters are going to follow along. Once you have that chosen, go ahead and right click. And we're going to move, I'm going to move that ellipse up so he's pretty much hiding. It's just hiding our snowman and don't worry about it. It'll be just fine because we're going to delete that here shortly. But that's going to be the path of where our letters are going to follow. So to go ahead and get our letters going you're going to choose the edit text tool on your left toolbar. So left click on that and when you do that the toolbar options will change. The font size of about 25 for my size hoop is good. You can change that later but 25 is a good starting point. And then also you want to choose your font. Creative Drawings allows you to use most open type and true type fonts that are on your computer. Uh, I've chosen the Kristen ITC. It's kind of a little bit more juvenile, kind of a fun font that'll go with our snowman very well. If you don't have the Kristen font. Another great font to work with this is the Comic Sans. So either Kristen, Comic Sans, something that again is just, it's a little bit more juvenile, a little bit more fun. So once you have that chosen, move your mouse into the work area, probably in your hoop somewhere, and left click. Now I have a white background and a cursor's now blinking that's also in white. So I'm just going to start typing. We're going to type in let it snow and depending upon where you live and uh, what part of the country or world you live in you may want it to snow more or less than I do but uh, in this case let's type in let it snow. It's kind of a fun phrase for the uh, winter season. Once you have that done simply left click outside and your letters have now turned to stitches. So it's really that simple. Um, please do notice that the text tool is still highlighted or is still active. Um, that's because if you want other rows of lettering you can just continue to add. In my case we're done so click on the rectangular selection there at the top. So now we want to get our letters to go on the curve of the ellipse and that's really easy to do. Simply left click on your ellipse and hold the control key down on your keyboard and then left click on one of the letters in your phrase. Notice that both the ellipse and the letters are now selected. 
With both of those selected, I simply want you to right click and a menu comes up and toward the bottom of that menu there's an option that's called Apply Path that will apply the letters to whatever path you have chosen and we happen to choose the ellip ellipse so go ahead and click apply path and notice the let it snow came right into that ellipse area so it applied itself right to that path which is exactly what we wanted it to do but now we have to make some changes because we want it at the top rather than at the bottom so click on the edit text tool again and you get more options up here this time. So you have the ability to change your baseline, to actually change your text alignment. In our case, we're going to use this tool up here. It's a really neat tool. It's called Reverse Direction. Just click on Reverse Direction, and instead of being on the inside, it's on the outside, and instead of going from left to right or counterclockwise, it, the letters are now going clockwise. So fast, easy way to get that on top of the ellipse. The offset is how we're going to move from the zero position up into a different position on the ellipse. Now I, I'm going to start with 500. So just start with 500 as an average number and it got it close but not quite to the center of that ellipse so I'm gonna try 600 millimeters and that's a little bit closer I probably need to go about 650 and it's is just kind of looking and watching and seeing left and right how that's gonna be so 650 in my case is good just try start it like I said start around 500 and see if you go too far to the right you make it a little bit less take it toward 400 and in my case it wasn't quite enough to the right so I went ahead and added another hundred millimeters so that's how you just adjust this so once you've got that done you are basically you're ready to go go ahead and click on the rectangular selection again and you've got your letters as well as your ellipse let's now get rid of that ellipse so we've got the let it snow please click on the ellipse itself and once you have clicked on the ellipse itself click the delete button on your keyboard it's that easy to get rid of that ellipse and you'll notice your let it snow still keeps that path so we're gonna click on this and we're gonna go ahead and move it up and once I move it up let's go ahead and click on that again I'm gonna go ahead and move that up just a little bit so it's over my snowman and there you go you've created your letters you've got your snowman and now when you come back go go ahead and finish this up and then when you come back we're going to change the color of each of the letters in your phrase so again really fast and easy go ahead and try this and then come back for the next part